welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. I am Baller Scuba, I am joined by both Mario and Mallow at the moment. I want more party members, but that is all they'll give me right now. I'm in the menu screen right now, not because I want to show you something in here, but I wanted to show you how to do the trick that I had been talking about earlier. We're back here. Hey, oh, there we go. Uh, I, I left, went to the Mushroom Kingdom, came back and all the enemies respawn so what we want to do is get into a fight and run away and then jump on their head oh i couldn't jump on his head come on run away oh don't do this to me run away of course not scream at me i don't know if i've shown this before but yes that's the fear spell uh, or fear status. Oh, and Mallow's poisoned. Hopefully I can run away this time. There we go. And then the poison's gone. That's just how it works here. Oh my gosh, come on. They're doing a little ghost orgy on me right now, so I can't jump on their head. Oh, come on. What is going on here? Run. Run. Alright, here we go. That should be it. Run away. Come on, this is annoying now. Oh, and I landed on another guy. Run away. Run away. Damn you, game. Don't, like, make faces at me, dude. That's not cool. Freaking big booze in your faces. Oh, come on didn't jump fast enough. Okay, here we go. Ready? Ready? Let's do this! There we go. And we made it all the way to the top to get a flower. That was what we did it for. Okay, now... Yeah, all that for this. Okay, come on, let's do this. There we go. Dodge and... Oh my god, I fell. Oh, that sucks so much. Boo, get back here. Where did he spawn? Couldn't run, of course not. And yes, Mario's heart is broken because he realizes why Peach keeps running away from him. Ah, oh, sorry, Toadstool. It's Toadstool in this game. Don't be throwing an endo bubble at me. Yeah, it pretty much does the same effect. It breaks his little heart. Dodge it. Holy crap, that did a lot of damage. Run! Damn you, run! I'm gonna make you guys suffer, I don't care. Run. 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 Screw it. Uh, maybe you can't run away when you're feared up. Don't die. Okay, three is not bad. Just smash him, I guess. Screw the pipe. The pipe is useless to me. There we go. Yes. Okay, I was gonna go see what was in the pipe. But obviously, I can't make that jump anymore. So... Hmm. Where's my HP? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna use an item. Hey. Be nice. As you can see, I haven't been using them almost at all this entire game. Uh, and then the flower jar. Raises flower points by three and heals it. So we have 29. Why did I do that? Why is there a save point here? If you don't know, then you haven't been playing RPGs because it's time for boss time. The loam. It's his tongue. What? You can't eat me, dude. Uh, let's go for the super jump here. Hopefully I can do it right. There we go. Oh, 
127, baby. Uh, is he weak to... No, he's not weak to lightning, so... Let's go ahead and punch him in the face. Oh, he licked me, like... Oh, it's gross, man. You don't just lick somebody. Nice. There is a limit to how much you can do. I think I mistimed that last one now. Um, unlike uh, Ultra Jump. Oh, crap, I forgot about that. He turns people into scarecrows. Damn you. Uh, let's go ahead and still super jump, because it only affects the uh, the physical attacks. It doesn't affect the special attacks, and this is somehow s considered a special attack. 121 damage. There we go. Punch him some more. The hunger! Dude, he ate him! Die! Don't eat my marshmallow friend! I mean frog. He's so a frog. He's got four eyes. Ah, uh, he spit him out. That was scary. What? And down goes Bellum. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. And Mario's back to normal now. We get 15 experience, 40 coins, and Mallow levels up. Always nice. Uh, no. That looks like it. Yes, HP it is. And down goes Bellum. What? Ooh. What is with the glitch in here? Ooh, why'd you jump off of it? Ooh, you suck. Why don't you stay on the button? Okay, and here we are in the first mini game. Alright. Hold on just one second, folks. Okay, this is the Midas River course. There's basically two ideas that you can do on this course. I'm going to be going for the flowers. I think flowers are more important than coins. Come on, Mario, swim. I know you can do it. You've done it before. Prove everybody wrong. Water levels are not the bane of your existence, Mario. They're not. I never liked the water levels. I'm just going to ignore that cave and that coin because I can, I'll can be missing coins later on by going that way. And I choose you left. Get another frog coin, and into the cave we go. Oh, and a Koopa Troopa, and a... Oh, sorry, Sky Koopa, and a Bandit of Fighting. Oh, flower! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Koopa Kung Fu, I do love you! Come on! Do it for me, buddy! Come on! Come on! Give! Want! Ha ha! Stolen at the last second! And out we spawn into a little waterfall, onto a little smiley fla face uh, springboard, of course, why not? And uh, as you can see, this is the point without any more coins. But that's okay, because we get flowers, and flowers are more important than coins right now. And I want to choose this cave here. And look at that. Oh! Nice, the canine helped me out. You are a man's best friend, aren't you? And apparently everybody here is full of money, but I can't seem to grab any of them. And somehow, defying all laws of physics, Mario ends up higher in the waterfall than he did when he entered the cave. And now we're on to the barrel jumping minigame. Okay, the barrel jumping minigame, it's simple enough. If you hit the barrel in front of you, you go to the other side of the river, like so. And if, in order to get to the next barrel, you just jump on it, and you'll stay on that side of the river. If you stay pretty much the same way that I'm going here, you should get most of the coins. Pretty much you want to stay on the right for most of it. Uh, so if you don't feel comfortable trying to switch back and forth, just stay on the right. It does have more coins on this side. Gotta watch out for fish too. 
fish are evil and they take coins away from you. Ah, I saw you. Getting a lot faster here. Avoiding Koopas. Or, uh, what are they called? Gobies? Stay away from the Gobies. Uh, missed one coin. That's alright, though. Oh. We're on the wrong side of the river there. Missed out on three coins there, it looks like. There we go. Okay, now I want to switch again? No, that's it. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Seriously? Sweet. Yeah, there's. you pretty much can only get one or nothing. Uh, one frog coin or nothing, like I said. Uh, I think I only missed four, so there's a total of 73 coins you can get. Thank you. Jerk. But we do get the Knock Knock Shell. An upgraded weapon for Mario. Let's go ahead and equip that right now. Oops. Equip Squeery. I'm so used to Seven Saga. Boom. Did fix that problem that I was having before. Oh, uh, while we're here, um, you get that. And then, sh -sh -sh. yeah, you can get the antidote pin, I guess. How was the wake-up pin? Wake-up pin is better. I could have used that true form pin in the fight, but I forgot to equip it, I'll be honest. Just, just plain forgot. But what is on the other side of this little exit to this map here? Find out next time when we come back with another episode of Let's Play Super Mario RPG. I've been Baller Scuba. This has been Mario, who's frantic because he's got ants in his pants, I assume. Don't jump on that spring, Mario. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.